Hey guys, so here goes um, the video, uh, the yoga video. In this one, I'm gonna keep it simple. I uh, will starting from the sun salutations and I'll give you the alignment so that you can uh, practice it properly. And uh, anyway, nobody will be at home to watching you this, yeah? But you just keep in mind uh, about your alignments and try your best. Um, you don't have to worry about the perfect pose, yeah? Remember that, that you are trying your best. And I'm gonna try my best here as well uh, to give you the, the voice that you could hear me. I'm only using them, the phone to uh, recording myself right now. So enjoy, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send me a message, okay? All right, let's get started. Sun salutation A, Surya Namaskar A. Starting from Samasiti. You're standing with big toes touch and a little bit of the space between the heels. Your arms are alongside your body and your hands are facing towards your legs. Standing in front of the mat. Root it down to your feet. So you're keeping the base of the toes, base of the little toes and your heels pressed firmly down. You can lifting your toes up, spreading the toes apart, and then placing your big toes, the little toes, and then the rest of them down. And you feel that the arch of your feet are lifting up. Knee cap slightly lifting up towards the thighs to engaging your quad muscles. You draw the tailbone in, feel that the tailbone reaching down to between the heels. Lower belly is in, your heart, your chest lifting up. Your shoulders are rolling back. The back of your neck nice and long and you feel that the crown of your head is reaching up. Making sure that your arms is active and you're reaching way to your fingertips. Feel the connection from the ground to the sky, from the feet to the crown of your head. Whenever you are doing the standing poses, keeping your feet Root the down in the way I was describing. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, arms are reaching up, looking at your thumb. Exhale, fold forward from the hip joint, bend knee slightly if need to. Inhale, come up halfway, back straight, look forward. You have two choices if your hamstrings are tight. Keeping your hands against the shin bone, elbow straight, back straight, and you look forward. If you have good flexibility of your hamstring, your fingertips can be touched down to the ground and you're keeping your wrists and the shoulders into the same line. To uh, straighten your back, you're pushing your heart, your chest forward. Lower belly is in and you're lifting your tailbone up towards the sky. On the first round, we're going to step back into the plank pose. So on the exhale, you're placing your hands down, shoulder width apart. Step back into the plank pose, Palakasana. We're gonna pause in here for about five to 10 deep breaths. So in this position, shoulders are stacking above the wrist. Your feet are hip width apart, your toes are tucked, kneecaps lifting up towards the thighs, you're scooping the tailbone in. Draw the bottom of the ribcage and the front of your hips towards each other. Your hands has four corners, base of the index fingers, base of the little fingers, and the two points of the heels of your hands are touched down to the ground. You're turning the inside of your elbows forward, pushing yourself against a touching point, hollow your heart, your chest inward, and then pushing the upper back toward the sky. You're looking away from your fingertips, keeping your neck nice and long, knee chest chin down for now. On the exhale, lower your knees down, resting your chest down onto the mat and the shin down. Inhale, chest lifting up, shoulders are rolling back, pressing the back of your feet down. So this one we do cobra for the first round. And then exhale, going to the downward facing dog. Walk your feet a little bit more forward, yeah, so that the distance of your hands and your feet are in the, the right distance. If you are not sure how wide it should be, bring yourself into on four yeah okay on four shoulders above the wrist knees under the hips you tuck the toes and then go back into downward facing dog first down dog here we're just gonna cycle our legs our feet loosening up the hamstring warming up knees ankles and the toes wiggling the tails to go side to side stretching the side of your body here and there couple of more deep breaths Pressing the heels down, cannot touch the heels down, that's okay. 
Your neck, your face are relaxed. Root it down to your hands. We are gonna jump or you can walk in forward. Inhale, bend knees, lift heels up. Exhale, jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, forward. Again, bend knees slightly if need to. Inhale, arms are reaching up over your head. And then exhale, hands together in front of the chest. I'll go into some massive. Second round, we're gonna jump back into the plank pose. Inhale, arms are reaching up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway back straight, look forward. Exhale, bring your hands down, shoulder width apart, lifting the heels up. Jump back into the plank pose. Pause into the plank pose for a few deep breaths here. Making sure that your alignment is correct, yeah? otherwise the chaturanga will be wrong. Alright, pushing yourself against the touching point, your neck is nice and long. On the next exhale, bring your shoulders more forward. Bending your elbows 90 degrees, tuck upper arms close to the side of the body, chaturanga. Inhale, chest lifting up, shoulders are rolling back into the upward facing dog. So the up dog is the hands and the back of your feet touch down. Allow your hips to come down and forward. Lifting your heart, your chest up, you roll the shoulders back. You can either look straight, straight forward or looking up. It depends on how you may feel. And then on the exhale, lifting your buttocks up, going to the downward facing dog. Down dog, your feet are hip width apart and your feet are parallel. Allow the heels to reach down towards the ground. If you need to bend in the knees, you go ahead. Yeah? Okay, especially for those that have a very tight hamstring. Your legs are straight or not, making sure that you continue pushing your heels down towards the ground. Pushing the back of your thighs yeah, towards the back of the mat, lengthening them up towards the sky and try to pointing the tailbone up. You root it down to your hands, your arms are straight, turning the inside of your elbows more forward and you will feel that your tricep is engaging. Shoulders away from the ears. To pointing your tailbone up more toward the sky, lower belly is in against the spine. Lift it up to under the ribcage, Uddiyana Bandha. The side of your torso lengthen. Jumping forward, inhale the knees, exhale, jump forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms down, reach it up. Exhale, hands together. The third round, we jump back into plank pose. Come down, chaturanga in one. Exhale. Inhale, arms down, reach it up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, chest lift up into the up dog. And then exhale, down, water. Pause here for five deep breaths. Again, continue reaching the heels down. Lengthen the whole back side of your body. Okay, so hopefully that you can see the action of my shoulders here. So if I don't push myself against, uh, away from the touching point, my shoulders are sinking down like this. So you need to push yourself away from the touching point, away from the mat, pushing the mat a little bit forward. Yeah, most of the actions coming from the legs and the feet here. So you're sending most of the body weight down towards the heels. Lower belly is in. See, you can pointing your tailbone more up towards the sky. When you're breathing in, feel the ribcage expanding front, side, and back. The side of your torso lengthen. Jumping forward. Inhale the knees. Exhale, jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms are reaching up. Exhale, hands together. And this round, we jump straight into Chaturanga. If you cannot, jump back into plank and then come down Chaturanga on the chest chin down. Inhale, arms are reaching up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. To jump back into Chaturanga, placing your hands down in front of your feet, shoulder width apart. 
lifting your heels up look away from the fingertips soften your elbows and then on the exhale oh, jump back inhale chest lifting up shoulders roll back and then exhale downward dog we pause here five deep breath ujjayi breath making the soft snoring sounds from the back of your throat inhale deeply allow your exhale to get nice and long and if you prefer it can be the same length as your inhale to get more energetic one or two more breath here jumping forward inhale beneath exhale jump inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale arms are reaching up exhale hands together surya namaskar b salutation b Uttatasana, the chair pose. Inhale, bend the knees. Arms are reaching up. Now you can join your hands together, looking up towards the thumbs, or hands can be shoulder width apart, and you can look in straight forward. Make sure your knees are not passing the toes. Pressing your knees and your thighs close together. You're scooping the tailbone in, keeping your back straight and lengthen. A little bit more. Control your breath in and out deeply. Reaching your arms up way to your fingertips, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold forward. Straighten the leg. Inhale, come up halfway back straight, look forward. Exhale, Chaturanga or jump back to plank Chaturanga, whatever you can. Inhale, chest lifting up, shoulders to roll back into the up dog, and then exhale down, what dog? Warrior one, make sure that your in, uh, down dog is feet hip width apart. You're pointing your left toes out about 60 degrees. Inhale, stepping your right foot towards the right hand. Front knee bending, knee ankles aligned. Both sides of your hips facing forward. Yeah? You can use in your hands and helping you adjust if you need to. Back heel press down firmly. Scoop the tailbone in. Spine lengthen, chest lifting up. Your arms can be joining together or uh, looking up towards the thumb or hand shoulder width apart and you look straight forward. And then on your exhale, bring your hands down. Chaturanga, knee chest chin down, whatever you can. Inhale, just lifting up, shoulders roll back, and then exhale down. One dog, change the side. Point your right toes out 60 degrees. Inhale, stepping your left foot towards the left hand. Front knee bending, knee ankle aligned, back heel touch down. Turn both sides of your hips forward. Scoop the tailbone in, spine lengthen, chest lifting up. Arms can be reaching up again, whatever position, options that you want to. Control your breath in and out deeply. I get a saw. And then let's exhale, lower your hands down, shut your arm down. Inhale, just lifting up. And then exhale down water. Now we pause here for five deep breaths. If the down dog is starting to get too much for you, feel free to go into on four. Try pause if you need to. Point the tailbone up, engaging the Uddiyana Bandha lower belly in against the spine. Yeah, feel the bottom of your ribcage expanding up. Lengthen the side of the torso, making sure your neck and your face are relaxed. Jumping forward. Inhale, bend knees. Exhale, jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, chair. Inhale, bend the knees. Arms are reaching up. 
and then exhale, stretching the legs, hands together in front of the chest. Second round, only one inhale in the warrior one. It's a quick pace, but you try your best. Sha pause, inhale, bend knees. Exhale, go forward, stretching the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, just lift up into the up dog. And then exhale, down dog, Vira one. Inhale, step right foot forward. Arms out, reach up. Exhale, hands down, Chaturanga. Inhale, just lift up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Arms out, reach up. Exhale, hands down, Chaturanga. Inhale, chest lift up. Exhale, Dawa Dog. We pause here, five deep breaths. Listen from the, the song from the back of your throat. Jumping forward, inhale beneath, exhale, jump, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward, fold, share, inhale, bend the knees, arm from reach up, exhale, stretching the legs, draw your hands together. Samadhi, 